this year we're going to be reading in the primarily from the Gospel of Mark and um, one of the tools for really understanding what, what what the gospel writers are trying to say or writers in general actually is to pay attention to how characters are introduced and particularly to the first words that they say uh, and so it, applying this to the gospels last I think last week we talked about the first words that Jesus had in the gospel of John and they were a question what are you looking for and then come and see and that really is illustrative it kind of a theme that runs through through John about whether uh, what are you looking for and whether you see or not the Gospel of Matthew says uh, Jesus says let it be so now for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness and uh, one of the themes running all the way through Matthew uh, that the gospel writer highlights is how is what righteousness looks like and how Jesus is the embodiment of righteousness. Um, I must confess, when I look at Luke, uh, the answer is, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? So that isn't as, as indicative, or it doesn't resonate as much with the major themes in Luke for me. But for Mark, uh, we have kind of two sets of first words. The first, it, it tells us that Jesus went about proclaiming the good news of God, saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near repent and believe in the good news so it's kind of a general introduction to what he was proclaiming and then very quickly we have the calling of simon and andrew and jesus says follow me and i will make you fish for people um, putting those two together the, the the general thing that jesus is up to is that the time has come uh, the kingdom of god has come near time to repent turn our heads and change our knowing and believe in the good news and in a sense then that is the invitation or even uh, the command that Jesus gives to Simon and Andrew uh, Simon also know, also known as Peter follow me and I will make you fish for people uh, Jesus makes a personal direct call and it does re involve a response it involves a changing and it really involves a commitment then uh, to, um, re, as, as I said in my sermon on Sunday, to reconstitute your being. For fishermen, those fishermen by the sea, it meant lining up uh, their lives, letting, letting down the, the physical tools of nets and boats and things like that to be part of a church, uh, to be part of a movement that impacts the lives of, of people. May we be open to the particular call that Jesus has for us. And uh, as we read through the Gospel of Mark, we, um, we can look for how Jesus is really calling people to a new way of life uh, and a, a way of life that transforms them and also transforms the wor world. Let us pray. God, may we be open to your call. Your call is one that brings people out of their ordinary routines, lifts them from lives that are helpful and productive to lives that uh, impact people and transform the world. Uh, give us the courage to do those things that your spirit stirs within us so that we may answer your call and that we may be your instruments and part of your movement to have your kingdom, your reign, realized in this world. Amen.